When the Morans built their studio, they did something a little interesting, being artists and having creative urges and liking old things. Um, they removed a lot of stuff that was probably out on the curb in the Chelsea district in Manhattan where they had their winter studio. They found fireplaces because a lot of buildings were being demolished because new row housing was being built. Uh, they found doors and windows and uh, all different types of things, newel posts. They found a very beautiful late 18th century carved fireplace mantle in the Adams style, which probably came out of a very fancy uh, late 18th century townhouse that was demolished to make way for brownstones. They brought it to their studio, they installed it. There are two fireplaces in the house. This was the important fireplace in the studio, which was a reception room, a, a work room for the artists. And there were these small panels that were created when the original mantle was made. And some of the family members, there were over a dozen uh, members of the Moran family who were artists, chose to create paintings on the lower section in these little panels. Um, there's one of Thomas Moran, there's one of his wife Mary Nimmo Moran, uh, there's a rather bizarre looking one that looks like little cupids, and there's this very beautiful painting probably done by Percy Moran, who was Edward's brother's son, who also later on had a studio in East Hampton, and it shows a very elegant portrait of Mary Moran, uh, Thomas and Mary's daughter. So, it's really pretty exciting to think that the mantle was embellished by artist members and these wonderful paintings have survived and are there for you to look at if you come by this summer.